Welcome everyone, I'm Dr. Leanne Brady and I'm recording this from my home in Phoenix, Arizona where we'll be meeting together at the Phoenician in January of 2014 for the Seattle Study Club meeting. At the symposium, my topic will be about complex implant reconstructions in complex occlusion patients, specifically deep bite patients. So what are the challenges when someone presents with a deep bite and multiple missing teeth? The first challenge is just interocclusal space, having enough room for the abutments and the crowns or the bars and the reconstruction. The next challenge is optimizing the occlusion, so minimizing the loads on the tooth, directing the loads for long-term success of the implants. So the first thing that I think of when I have a deep bite patient and I don't have enough room is opening vertical dimension. How am I going to open vertical dimension of occlusion? When we open someone's vertical dimension, we totally lose their existing occlusion or intercuspal position. Recreating an intercuspal position requires a repeatable or reproducible position. Most of the time for me, that centric relation. Most people function down and forward of seated condylar position. So when I seat their condyles, they go up and back. Therefore, their mandible goes down and forward, already starting the process of opening vertical dimension. I'm already minimizing or reducing their overbite. I may need to continue to open their vertical dimension to get the adequate room I need for the restorations. When we open someone's vertical, we're actually auto-rotating the mandible. So we're increasing over jet as we're decreasing over bite. We may uncouple the anterior teeth. Once I have adequate space, I need to go back and look at the anterior relationships to optimize my occlusion. If I've uncoupled the anterior teeth, I can think about several solutions. Restoratively, we could recouple the anterior teeth, but what I hope is I don't see what appears in the slide now is really unnatural tooth forms. As this alters tooth loading, it's not down the root long axis, and it can be uncomfortable to the patient. If I have to create these sorts of anomalous tooth forms in order to couple the anterior teeth, I now think next treatment planning option, orthodontics or potentially orthodontics and orthognathic surgery. All of that can be figured out. How much we're going to open vertical dimension of occlusion, whether or not we can recouple anterior teeth restoratively or we need ortho and orthognathic on a set of mounted study models to figure out how do we have the space to replace the missing teeth in a deep bite patient and optimize our occlusion. Look forward to talking with you about that more in January.